The Raiders are hoping to have nearly everyone back in uniform in time to play the Chiefs on Sunday night. But as John Treach tells us, the most difficult game of all is wait and see, right, John? That's right. The Raiders are wearing their mask and keeping their distance, but still holding their breath and hoping COVID is the creep that stays away. The good news for the Raiders only Clellan Farrell has tested positive. The bad news COVID isn't punctual and doesn't share its infection schedule on iCloud, so we wait. This week, the Raiders' contract tracers were buzzing after Cleveland Farrell tested positive for COVID-19 without symptoms. Three defensive backs and five defensive linemen were held out of practice due to being in contact with Farrell all week. And you all, the Raiders say the players will be ready for action if the tests keep coming back negative. That's just the infectious disease defense. As for the Chiefs' defense, they are hungry to give Derek Carr problems. John Gruden discusses his heavy load of responsibility and reasons for losing sleep. No, I don't have any update. Um, we'll wait and see what happens, but uh, we're, we're just hoping everybody remains healthy and can get back as soon as possible. Well, the whole chief defense is unpre unpredictable. They don't even play a straight defense on the goal line. So they, uh, they do a lot of things. They have a lot of mystery coverages and mystery blitzes, and they're, they're hard to prepare for. And a guy like uh, Matthew, he, he thrives in that kind of a defense. So we'll have our hands full. We know that. Feels nice to talk about football. John Gruden was speaking about Tyron Matthew. The Kansas City safety goes by the nickname Honey Badger. A honey badger eats scorpions and snakes. You can understand how that would cause concern. Kirsten? Remember that video on YouTube of the honey badger? <laughs> Thanks, John.